in terms of iron, remember something. There's a difference in eating iron from blood. Like if you're eating an animal's body and you get the blood of that animal, it's called heme iron or hemoglobin iron versus getting the iron that's in uh, broccoli and spinach, bok choy, other vegetables, Brussels sprouts. Now, the iron that's in plants, which by the way is how the cow got it. So when you're eating a rare steak, cow originally got the iron from the plant. Because remember, if you're eating a steak, I'm sure you prefer the steak to be grass-fed. In order to convert the iron in its ferric form to its ferrous form for being able to digest it, absorb it, you need to have a lot of hydrochloric acid in your stomach. And when we get past the age of 40, we produce less and less and less hydrochloric acid. So you need to take hydrochloric acid before you eat, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes before you eat, okay, to make sure you have enough hydrochloric acid. Secondly, ascorbate, vitamin C, actually upregulates the receptors in the duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine, just after the stomach. So both vitamin C and hydrochloric acid are going to increase your ability to absorb the iron. And so whether or not you're taking iron in any way, you don't need to take supplements. You just need the organic greens that were grown in the proper soil.